He's in pain. He's in agony. The father of a stabbing victim on UT's West Campus says the Sunday night attack was overwhelming. Your son been stabbed. The first thing came to my mind is I'm going to lose my son. Nizar Dewar says his 23-year-old Palestinian-American son is recovering after being stabbed in the chest, breaking one of his ribs. Zachariah Dewar is not a UT Austin student, but had participated in a pro-Palestinian rally and was with friends in the area. Zachariah did not attend the press conference today, but his father says he asked him to share this message. He said, Mr. President, Mr. Joe Biden, I blame you. I blame you for what happened to me. If you were called for a ceasefire three months ago, this will never happen. Zachariah's family and the Austin for Palestine coalition say the attack was the latest example of anti-Palestinian racism. It is clear that the hate was a motivating factor in this stabbing. And we call in law enforcement to investigate it as such. 36-year-old Bert James Baker was arrested and charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Today, Austin police said the crime appears to be bias-motivated and will be investigated by the Hate Crimes Review Committee. New information from the arrest warrant shows Baker may have been drunk during the attack. The police report states Baker claimed to not know why he was brought to speak with Austin police detectives. Baker admitted to being an alcoholic and today having drunk more than the normal amount of alcohol for him. All I want is justice for my son and justice for our people in Gaza. The Muslim Coalition for Palestine says the Israel-Hamas war is at the core of this attack. It's worth noting that the family who is currently grieving spent very little time talking about what they just experienced and they were still hyper fixated on the situation in Gaza.